A CDC report released earlier this month shows young people are experiencing a level of distress that calls for action, especially when it comes to suicide. So we're looking into solutions. Christy Diaz sat down with the licensed therapist from Children's Healthcare of Atlanta to give to parents. Here are three tips to help them navigate this topic. We have to remember that behavior is communication. So we have to be really curious about what the behavior means. If they're all of a sudden being resistant, they're irritable, they're withdrawing, these are signs. And so that's what we really need to be paying attention to are the things that they're not necessarily telling us, but they're showing us. So you might start to say questions like, well, you've never been depressed, right? But surely you haven't thought about hurting yourself. That's not an open-ended question. How are you feeling? Period. Have you ever thought about hurting yourself? And this is the hard part. We have to then sit in silence and let it linger. There are no magic words. There's no perfect thing you can say. It's just about starting the conversation and showing them that you can handle it. Because when a child is feeling these big, big emotions, what they need to know is somebody else can hold this with me. So even just by starting it, you're doing something really powerful. Choa has many more tips for parents and we have it linked to you right now on 11alive.com.